Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video we're going to attempt to show that the expected value of a constant times a random variable uh, equals the constant times the expected value of the random variable. Okay, what is it that we really want to show? Let's try to encapsulate this mathematically. Yeah? Okay? So what we'd like to show uh, is that the expected the expected value of a random variable, or, or let's say of k times, let's say k times a random variable, is the same as k times the expected value of the random variable. Okay? In other words, what we'd like to show is that the expected value of a constant times a random variable is the same as the constant times the expected value of the random variable. And this is an important identity for us because we're going to rely upon this later on uh, when it comes to, I suppose, uh, showing that the variance, uh, uh, the sample variance is an unbiased estimator of the population variance and so on. Yeah, and in other cases as well, we're going to rely upon this particular, this particular identity. So it's actually an important identity for us, albeit the proof is actually quite straightforward. So let's try to prove this. Okay. So our proof. Okay. So our proof. Okay. Let's have a look at the expected value of a constant times a random variable. Okay. Uh, so the expected value okay, of a constant k times a random variable is the same as okay. It's k times the random variable. So that means it's the summation of k of these random variables. So this is the same as the expected value. Okay, of the random variable plus the random variable all the way through to the random variable where we have there is k of these particular random variables. So, so it's k, k times. Okay. Now what we know is that when observations are independent and so on, that the expected value of a summation of independent observations is the same as the expected value of the observations is the same as the sum of the expected values. So this here becomes equal to the summation of the expected values across the observations. So this is the expected value of x, this x, plus the expected value of this random variable, which just happens to be the same, plus all the way through to the expected value of the final random variable. So once again we have this is this is k times, okay? Uh, so which is the same as, well, it's k times the expected value of the random variable is a constant. So it's the same constant summed k times, so this is the same as k times the expected value of the random variable. Okay guys, I know this was a, a, a very quick video, okay? but that's actually how straightforward it is to show that the expected value of a constant times a random variable is the same as the constant times the expected value of the random variable. Okay. We're relying upon independence and so on here in relation to, uh, I suppose, distributing the expected value across the summation. Okay. Uh, so once again, guys, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was somewhat helpful.